Hey, good morning. So today I wanted to come up with a little uh, tutorial video on how to create something that could be useful to some of you that's not motorsports related. Small project, uh, not too difficult, where we can uh, learn a few things in the software and and build something that could be useful uh, for your garage or workspace. Uh, so the idea was to build a, a stool that might have some wheels on it. You can roll around and, and, and whatever. So, of course, Bentec is very, very well known um, in the industry, uh, in the motorsports industry, I should say, for building roll cages and, as you can see, exhaust and headers and, you know, rock rails and, and basically everything else uh, tubing related in the motorsports industry. But but I wanted to illustrate that it can be used to build other stuff like furniture or, you know, chairs, stools, whatever. So um, let's jump right in and build a stool. So the first thing, go up to file a new assembly. And let's uh, start Let's just start there. So the the one thing I, I had to do because I, I wasn't familiar is I had to Google the standard stool height. Um, and basically Google told me that it was between a range of 29 and 32 inches um, high. So I'm just going to use 30 inches as our stool height. Um, so I'm actually going to use 27 inches as our total leg height because... I'm going to account for maybe, a, a, I don't know, we'll put a two inch a wide seat band around the top of our stool. Um, so, and then maybe have some one inch, you know, little casters or something so this thing can roll around. So we're going to use 27 inches of total height. And then, and then the, um, the center of our stool legs will also have a one inch all thread so we can adjust the height also so if it's a little too short you can adjust it up um, you know to to sort of suit your needs so that's what we'll do first so from this original pick point let's go in and add a one inch tube that's going to represent a piece of all thread um, so let's just go to the floor 10 inches and hit apply and then let's go up to straight part. We've got one inch material here. Even though this is just a, a one inch tube, this one inch tube will represent a one inch diameter all thread when we, you know, actually build this thing. So there you have it. We've got our we've got our seat adjusting all thread right there. So the next thing I want to do is let's project this. Um, let's just project this to the right. So we. It's a little easier to look at it here. So let's go to the front. I've got some notes here. 1.375 inches. And let's hit apply. So this is going to be the top of one of our stool legs. So the next thing we want to do is let's just stay on this original pick point and let's go down 13 inches to the floor. Let's go down 13 inches to the floor um, actually, let's not use that. Let's use this pick point as the reference point. So we're still down 13 inches from the floor from that reference point. And let's hit apply. Okay, let me back up here. And then let's go, what are we going to do? Let's go to the front, 6.6 .6 two five inches and down 19 inches to the floor okay and let's hit apply and then let's go to the floor 27 inches from that top leg so let's hit apply there and so let me clear these values. And so we basically got one leg that's going to come down here and have one bend, two bends. So let's go up and change our material. Let's let's use a three quarter inch OD tubing, and I'm going to put my three quarter inch model 54 die. And let's go to bent part, and we're going to have two bends in this thing. So and then we just connect the dots here. So one, that's our first bend. 
This is our second bend. And let's call this the, I don't know, right leg. And hit OK. So let's go to display and you can kind of see the profile of our stool here. So we're going to have a little bit of separation in between the two uh, materials, the one inch all thread. And we'll have a little space here and, and then we'll have you know, some three quarter inch tubing in this, in this profile. And then obviously we'll have our stool top up here for you to sit on. And then we'll have, uh, you know, some casters down here. Um, so to, to illustrate, let's go into 2d mode and just do vertical and just make sure that we're in, we're in the neighborhood here of 27 inches, which is what we wanted. Um, so, and then from, um, from the center line of our stool to the center line of one leg. Sorry, we need to go to horizontal from center line to center line is eight inches. So once we get another stool leg in here on the other side, our stool legs will be spaced out 16 inches apart from each other, which is, which is uh, I think a good distance for a stool. Um, you know, your stool top might be 14, 16 inches, and so your legs are going to be spaced out sort of the same. Uh, aesthetically, it'll look good, and then it'll be safe to sit on. So let's close out of here. And, um, and, and, and so here you go. I mean, that's, this is, we're, we're basically done here because these legs will be identical to each other. Um, on this side and then when you project it um, you know so from looking from the bottom you'll have one on the right one on the left one on the back one on the front but they're all you or they're all identical and so essentially we're, we're done already with this design um, and what you can do now is go in and click on this right leg and transfer this to a custom part and you can see exactly what you got to do to bend all four legs so um, you know you're going to cut your material which is three quarter inch od material you're going to cut it at 29 and 5 eighths you're going to mark the first bend location at 11 and an eighth and then your second bend location will be 19 and 7 eighths of course your information is going to be different than mine because your die is going to be calibrated differently and and your center line radius of your die might be different than mine um but but this is essentially how you would build a stool um so i hope you guys found this helpful and um and you know hit me up if you have other ideas of something you're struggling with that you want some help on and maybe i can help you out